I am Nizi Orhon, the Dean of School of Communication Sciences at Anadolu University. Unfortunately, our Vice Director and their Suvaja had to catch the train, and they left, and I'll be representing the school. So, as you can imagine, we are from a beautiful city called Eskishehir, and great geography. Uh, we are kind of one hour, 20 minutes away from Ankara with speed train, and hopefully in two years' time, we will be just two hours away from Istanbul. So I guess better than Juzje. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm just teasing. But I mean, it's in the crossroads of Antalya, Izmir, Istanbul, and Ankara. I mean, if you consider all these transportation possibilities. And as you may see, and if you go to the website, there are great possibilities of different studies, and including 14 faculties, four schools, and different vocational schools and institutes, and definitely research centers. And um, we have approximately 30,000 students on campus, and we are offering bachelor degrees, associate degrees, and graduate degrees. But uh, particularly what we can say is um, it's a very international campus, and as far as we have been receiving reports from Higher Education Institute that Anadolu University is, in the, is the number one uh, university for incoming international students. So there are almost uh, over 5,000 international students in and out of campus. And at the same time, um, if you consider the ratio between faculty members and students, it's above the standards of the country. And plus, I mean, while we are mentioning about the gender sensitive environment, wow, already three minutes left, half of the Senate of the university is females, as a, as a, as a point. So it's very active in international projects, collaborations, very, very quick. And in terms of the student numbers, it's one of the top three universities in the world. So there are almost two million uh, students behalf of our open education and uh, distance education programs. But as I said, detached from that, uh, those uh, numbers, we have approximately 30,000 students on campus. So it's definitely a global campus, global university. So one of our campuses, for the, particularly for the Western European programs, it's located in Cologne, Germany, serving those different, uh, different uh, centers in Europe and students in Europe. And there's another one in Baku, Azerbaijan, which is serving and which is looking for possible projects outside in the eastern part. So while we are, we are mentioning about the open education system, it's divided into three segments. So it's consisted of three parts. One is open education faculty itself, and also faculty of economics and faculty of business administration. So while I'm looking at my notes, you see the system. Uh, but we also benefit uh, from very strategic agreements and collaborations like with TRT. TRT, I mean, especially with the general, man uh, general directors, uh, director of TRT has been saying that this is the best example for how the different organizations uh, uh, bodies of the government, bodies of the country can uh, work together. So TRT and Anadolu University, they have been working very perfectly in this uh, particular project. It's called TRT School. So we run 12 hours of the uh, television, 12 hours it's run by TRT. So we have been producing, possibly Anadolu University is the only one uh, university in the, in the country that writes the uh, course books itself. So there are approximately 600 course books written by the Anadolu University Publication Center, uh, Press House. And recently, we have been working on excellency centers, particularly aviation uh, excellency center and railway systems. They have been uh, accepted by a state planning organization. So uh, aviation excellency center received 30 million Turkish liras from state planning organization, and particularly railway, uh, railway Systems Excellency Center received 240 million Turkish liras for, the, for research and for other uh, projects. So as I said, it's been active in different collaborations as has been mentioned with, uh, before, before me from other universities. So there's a strong, strong tradition of uh, collaborations from the private sector and the state sector. So, as I said, very active also in uh, Erasmus program, which is the European part of doing things in international correlations. Historically, it's been in the top three universities for incoming international students from Europe and in, uh, as part of the Erasmus uh, system. So part of these international affairs, so strong bilateral agreements, and also as has been 
as uh, our, our colleagues stated, also we, we run double degree programs, double major programs with European universities, with American universities, and thank you very much. Awesome. Just on time. First of all, uh, I would like to uh, extend our appreciation uh, for TESS, for organiz organizing this wonderful meeting. And uh, OK, how is now? It's OK. Thank you. In this session, I'm going to, in this five minutes, I'm going to talk about Ankara University. And let's start with a little bit history. It's the uh, first university of the Turkish Republic and lit the torch of education for modern Turkey. We are very proud of our history. Uh, the founder of this university is Mustafa Kemal Atatürk. And uh, our university has a strong position within the Turkish higher education system regarding uh, its uh, perspectives in education, research, service to the society, and internalization. Ankara University uh, has campuses and facilities all around Turkey, as you can see on the, uh, on the map. It's a metropolitan research university. And uh, Ankara University's educational approach is based on learner-focused student-centered system where students are very, very valued and given responsibility. There are 12 campuses in total and about 50,000 students. And uh, we have more than 2,000 international students from 90, almost 90 uh, countries. And we have about uh, 3,400 faculty uh, members with a student-faculty ratio of 14 to 1. There are 14 faculties in the uh, fields of health sciences and medicine, as you can see on this picture, and also social science, sciences, art and humanities, and life sciences, and engineering and technology. There is a uh, distance education center in our university, and in the fields of we are giving education to about 3,500 students on computer, uh, software engineering, tourism, hotel administration, etc. And the graduate st uh, studies uh, are very much encouraged in our university. There are uh, institutes, graduate uh, institute, institutes in different fields, and we have more than 11,000 students uh, getting training in more than 500 programs. As one of the uh, leading research incentive universities, technological development and innovation in accordance with the needs of society is given priority in our university. And we have a, a well-developed scientific and research infrastructure. And these are uh, some of the research institutes like biotechnology, nuclear sciences, accelerator technologies. And we received more than $50 million from the uh, national sources for these institutes, some of those institutes. And um, to emphasize, I would like to emphasize the uh, importance of research. OK, thank you. And uh, so we have also some new established institutes in our university, like stem cell, food safety, nuclear science, accelerated technologies, and water management. And Publications, yeah, this slide shows the uh, increased number of publications in Turkey. It's, it's uh, continuously increasing. And in our university, yearly 1,500 research papers published in high qualified journals. And we have also an increased uh, uh, tendency during the last 10 years. So this, our university ranks third among the uh, universities in the nation in, the, in total index papers. and takes place in top 500 world universities according to Leiden University ranking and Europe in terms of publication and citation. And total national and international support for R&D was in 2011 was uh, about $40 million. And 
another uh, source of uh, support uh, was uh, achieved by the uh, university to the uh, to the faculty, academic people, for the academic personnel, and that was about six hundred thousand dollars for publications in highly uh, journals. And we have also bilateral academic collaboration uh, agreements, more than 300 higher education institutions, double degree programs with Montana State and State University of New York, and uh, also has been participating Erasmus and Socrates. And we have also some departments like Turkology Department in, in Havana. And we are taking part in the uh, network of uh, some, uh, some academic networks like TASA and uh, like European University of Association. Academic and social facilities like libraries, campus life, and extracurricular activities are well developed in our university. And finally, I'm going to come to the end of this presentation by uh, briefly uh, mentioning about the internalization strategies, which is very important for our university. We would like to, we, uh, the strategies are provision of international high standard of education by improvement of infrastructure, enhancement of research activities through strengthening international research networks, promoting internalization of staff and students, promoting cooperation with international society and elite universities, and establishment of new schools and branch campuses in abroad. So uh, I would like to encourage the colleagues from the audience to get into contact with our university and to collaborate for, uh, in the future. Thank you very much. Uh, good, af good afternoon, everybody. Uh, my name is Abdurrahim Özgenoğlu. I'm the president of the Atılım University. Uh, I would like to express that the, I am honored to be a speaker in this uh, conference. But uh, on the other hand, uh, uh, I want to apologize from those who are non-Turkish speakers because I'm going to make my presentations in, in Turkish because I would like to use my time efficiently. Uh, uh, and I see that the time is running very fast here as I follow the show ups there. So uh, if you don't mind, I, I would like to speak uh, in Turkish. Uh, at Atılım Üniversitesi, uh, Bir kampüs üniversitesi, Ankara'da bir, bir üniversite, vakıf üniversitesi olarak kuruldu 1996 yılında. Hali hazırda bizim 5000'in üzerinde öğrencimiz var. Bunun 4500'e yakını lisans öğrencisi, 850 civarında da yüksek lisans ve doktor öğrencimiz var. 2011 yılında 575 lisans ve 273 yüksek lisans olmak üzere. Doktoradan bahsetmiyorum çünkü doktorada henüz mezunumuz yok. Toplam 850 civarında e, mezun verdik. Hali hazırda da 5000'e yakın mezunumuz var e, 1997'den bu yana. E, üniversitemizde 5 fakülte, 2 yüksek okul var. 37 bölüm yer alıyor bunların altında. 2 enstitümüz var. Enstitülerin e, altında da 25 yüksek lisans programı ve 4 tane doktora programımız mevcut. E, 400'e yakın tam zamanlı öğretim elemanımız var. Ve e, Üniversitemizdeki bölümlerde 95 civarında e, laboratuvar mevcut. Burada mühendislik fakültesinin bölümlerini görüyorsunuz. Dok e, 13 tane bölümümüz var e, mühendislik fakültesi altında. Bu bölümlerden büyük bir kısmı e, geleceğin meslekleri olarak adlandırdığımız bölümler. İşte mekatronik var, burada otomotiv var, enerji var. E, buna benzer bölümler var. E, bilişim sistemleri bölümü var. 13 tane e, mühendislik bölümümüz var ki vakıf üniversiteleri içinde e, aslında en çok mühendislik bölümü barındıran bir üniversiteyiz biz, mühendislik fakültesiyiz. İşletme fakültemiz altında 9 bölüm var. E, burada da birkaç bölümümüz yine e, özelliği var. E, Uluslararası e, ticaret ve lojistik bölümümüz yine geleceği mesleği olarak adlandırdığımız bölümlerden bir tanesi. E, hocam dediğim gibi zaman çok hızlı şey yapıyor burada, gör, onu takip ediyorum ben. E, Fen bilimleri enstitümüz altında <gülüyor> 11 yüksek lisans, bir doktora pro <gülüyor> bir, bir doktora programımız var. Doktora programımızın özelliği şudur: mühendislik sistemlerin modellenmesi ve tasarımı adı altında bir program. Bu disiplinler arası bir program. Yani mühendisliğin her alanında burada şey yapabiliyoruz, eğitim verebiliyoruz. Sosyal bilimler enstitümüz altında 14 yüksek lisans, 3 doktora programımız var. 
Ee, biz e, araştırmaya önem vermeye başlayan bir üniversiteyiz. O bakımdan başlığında öyle şey yaptım, atı, atı, araştırmada atılım yapan üniversite olarak adı geçiyor. Hali hazırda 9 tane araştırma ve uygulama merkezimiz var. Bunların yarıdan çoğu teknik konularda ama sosyal alanlarda da var. Mesela kadın sorunları araştırma ve uygulama merkezimiz var. Ee, son bir yıldır e, çok hızlı çalışıyorlar onlar. Bir de mükemmeliyet merkezimiz var ki Türkiye'de bunun başka bir benzeri yok. Metal şekillendirme mükemmeliyet merkezi. Bu DPT destekli bir projeydi. Ee, yaklaşık iki sene önce açıldı ve bizim endüstriyle olan e, bağımızı, ilişkilerimizi çok e, hızlı bir şekilde geliştiriyor bu merkez. Ee, üniversitemizde bu araştırmaları şey yapmak üzere ARGE'de koordinatörlüğü adı altında bir koordinatörlük kurduk. Bu araştırmaları e, e, koordine ediyor. Üniversitemizin belki de en önemli farkı diğer üniversitelerden belki üniversitemiz tarafından şey yapılan desteklenen projeler var. Bunlar üç, üç tane proje şeyimiz var programımız var. Alp programı dediğimiz araştırma laboratuvarları programı, BAP bütün üniversitelerde var bilimsel araştırma programı. Bir de belki Türkiye üniversitelerinde örneği olmayan LAP programı dediğimiz lisans öğrencileriyle yapılan araştırmaları şey yapan LAP programımız var. Dış destekli projelerimiz var. TÜBİTAK, DPT, BOREN, SANTES, AB projeleri var. Bu tabloda bu projelerin son 15 yılda, tabii üniversitemiz kurulalı 15 yıl oldu, 15. yaşını kutluyoruz. 15 yılda yürütülen projelerin bir dökümü var burada. Ee, görüyorsunuz burada 195 e, proje yürütülmüş. Bunlardan tabii bir kısmı danışmanlık projeleri, 83 tanesi öyle görünüyor. Ama bu e, pembe renkli olanlar üniversitemizin desteklediği projeler. Bunlardan BAP, LAP ve ALP'ler Yaklaşık 70 küsur oluyor. Buradan da şu pay diagramlarına görebiliyoruz. Üniversitemizin desteklediği projeler burada yaklaşık yüzde 40'ı ne oluşturuyor? Bizim üniversitemizde yürütülen bazı araştırma projelerinden kısaca bu şekilde bahsedebiliriz. Bir robotlarla çalışıyoruz. Dün çok adı geçti robot robotların. Elektronik elektrokromik polimerler ve uygulama alanları var. Kimya mühendisliği bölümümüzün çalıştığı. Metal şekillendirmeden az önce bahsettim. Kübik bor nitrür kaplamalar yapan e, Boren Bor Araştırma Yetkinlik Merkezimiz var. Bir de üniversitemizin e, çok özel bir şeyi var. Avrupa Uzaktan Radyo Laboratuvar Uygulamaları adı altında elektrik mühendisliği bölümünde bir Avrupa Birliği projesi olarak geliştirildi. Bir de üniversitemizde beynin elektriksel faaliyetlerini çalışan bilgisayar mühendisliğinde hocalarımız var. Bunlar tabi sadece bir kesit olarak bahsettim bunda. Burada bazı e, slaytlar var bunlarla ilgili olarak. İşte burada... Ee, hayvan robotlar var, tavşan robot ve diğerleri. Bu yapısal değişikliklerle renk kontrolünü, akım değişikliğiyle sağladığımız çalışmalarımız var. Ki bunların uygulama alanlarını burada görebiliyoruz. Ee, bu üniversitemizin desteklediği bir alt projesi, optoelektronik opto malzemeler ve solar enerji laboratuvarı. Metal şekillendirme mükemmeliyet merkezimizin çok değişik alanlarda faaliyetleri var. Bu eğitimden e, simülasyona ve diğer e, karakterizasyona kadar değişiyor. Burada yine çok özel testler yapılıyor bu merkezde. Uzaktan laboratuvarla biz değişik e, deneyler yapılabiliyor. Tamamıyla internet yoluyla yaptığımız bir e, ulaştığımız bir sistem var burada. Bunu web sayfamızda bulabiliriz. İşte bu da onun e, şeyini gösteriyor. Elektroenselografi dediğimizde bu beyin faaliyetlerini, elektriksel faaliyetlerini çalışan yine bir grup hocamız var bizde. Evet, teşekkür ediyorum. Hocam tamam mı zaman? We are at the center of the University uh, Istanbul. It's called the Beşiktaş. It's at the side of the Bosphorus. This is the basically university where it's seen here. And do we have it? Where is the flash? University is at the side of the Bosphorus. We are just going from Beşiktaş to Üsküdar in six minutes. You can work in Europe and you can eat in Anatolia or Aegean part. Okay, let me again pass this one. And the university opened at the 1893. Okay. <laughs> Our vision as usual. Let me go. Okay, we have nine faculties, three graduate school, a vocational school, a school of tourism and hotel management, and applied science schools. And those are many schools, but I will talk about our university's academic staff. All the, not all of them, but most of the, our instructors, professors are educated from foreigner countries. 25 of them got their degree from the US. 
and 13 of you from U UK, eight of them from France, five of from Canada, and three of them from Italy, and you can see the numbers here. <coughs> Let me, we are quite, we are applying quite interesting program, and we call it co co-op program. Co-op program is the, a program with the going industry. And what we are doing here, we invite from the top level persons from the industry, most of the CEOs, and they do come and open uh, courses at the university. And those courses is directed by the one of the professor at our university, but it's instructed by the uh, <coughs> companies. And because of that, there is a quite good connection with the companies. <coughs> We have many schools, and we have, uh, I am not going to tell those uh, schools. Let me show it to you. Those are the two. And we have uh, also master and PhD program be behind th those <coughs> undergraduate program, and we have PhD program in accounting and finance, advertising and public relations, cinema and media researchers, human resources, management and organization, marketing. And our <coughs> we have about 12,000 undergraduate students, about 3,000 graduate students, most of them in, mas in the master program. <coughs> Those are the faculty of arts and science, faculty of law, faculty of architecture and design, faculty of communications, and faculty of engineering. We have seven engineering departments and they are pretty good in their educations. We have some research and development centers also. You can see their names here. <coughs> Museum is the basically adult education uh, center. It's called the Bahçeşehir uh, <coughs> University Continuous Education uh, Center. I can see it. <laughs> okay. <coughs> Total program is about 81. And as I told you, the co -op program, this is very important, and we are quite good at it. And our students and all the companies are quite <coughs> happy with the, our applications. <coughs> we have quite good connections with the outside. Uh, Germany, <coughs> we have Germany and USA, New York, Ohio. We have, good, we have exchange program with those universities. Some of the students come from those universities to our university, and our students go there. Our curriculum is completely is in English, except the Turkish language. Uh, well, most of you heard about Bilkent University. He found, uh, founded by Isan Doromacı. Uh, when before he founded the university, he actually founded companies to support the universities. So, the, our university is in a unique situation where the uh, uh, actually, it, the company's endowment is in the form of ownership of companies. Uh, uh, Professor Doromaji actually wrote the uh, clause in the Turkish constitution himself to allow uh, non-profit foundation universities. And as an example of that, he found that Bilkent. Uh, in, in, in Turkish, it means science city. And it's, oh, he was also instrumental in found, uh, founding of other foundation universities like Koç, Bayt, Başkent, and Sabancı. Uh, in its first year, we were able to attract out of top 100 students in the university entrance exam, about 60 students in its first year by the scholarship system. Uh, in its first year again, in a university which consists of one unfinished uh, building was able to attract the top student in the university entrance exam. And this continued over the years. And he donated the ownership of companies to the university. And as you may know, some of the big companies in Turkey belongs to our university, like TAV. We are a big shareholder of TAV, the airport company. Uh, the tallest building in Istanbul was built by one of our companies. We have uh, cons uh, furniture companies, uh, supermarkets, etc. And Bilkent University is in a region of Ankara. Uh, 25 years, years ago, there was nothing. Now it's one of the most attractive places of Ankara. 
the first email of Turkey arrived to Bilkent University. 1986. First web page of Turkey is Bilkent's web page. And at, the, at its first years of web, this is 1993, uh, we were the Google of Turkey. Uh, first non-smoking buildings of Turkey, student evaluations of uh, faculty started in its first year. Uh, it, we have about five square kilometers of land, uh, about 13,000 students. Uh, we have planted trees uh, in about two square kilometers of it. Uh, we have nine faculties, art, design, and architecture, business administration, economics, education, engineering, humanities, law, music, and science. Uh, Eighty-five percent of the PhDs are from, mostly from top universities of US, in the order of counts of uh, faculty. Uh, about a third of our staff are international. According to US Embassy, we're the largest employer of US citizens in Turkey, other than the US Embassy. Uh, we have also a video conference facility in New York where we can uh, teach uh, from uh, professors that we can't bring it to Ankara from, from New York. Uh, promotions are based on research performance. Students evaluate instructors at each semester for each course instructor. We have teaching awards. Uh, and the performance pr uh, measurements are based on international criteria. We have small classes. Student to uh, instructor ratio is 11 to 1. Of course, all courses are in English, except uh, about half of the courses of law school. Uh, in the uh, 2010 rankings of Times Higher Education, we ranked 112th in the world. Uh, and that completes my talk. A question on the research, internal research funding for Andal University. Internal research funding for Andal University. Shall I ask the audience how many percent of audience is from Andal University? <laughs> At least some of the rectors or some of the people here that are graduates from Andal University, even we don't have full English backup from any American embassy or anything, but it still works well. Anyhow, uh, what we do is. Especially, particularly, I will start from the very end. Um, what we do is, especially with the establishment of excellence centers, we are transforming our university into a fully scientific, research-oriented university. For example, we have representatives from uh, our uh, engineering department, uh, School of Engineering. Full representatives are here. So at least I will give you the details, but it's, it's a significant indicator that they're here to touch you. So please, I mean, if you don't have chance to ask your questions now, please refer them after the meeting. So it's a significant development that our school's full representatives are here. We have 12 people from our university to answer your questions. But in terms of, in terms of uh, our friend's question, especially with those four, uh, two excellency centers, what we do is uh, we are trying to create centers for research, particularly for aviation and for railway systems. I will give you a very quick uh, uh, explanation on that. Railway systems in Turkey, Turkey is trying to be a fully railway country until to, to 2023. But one locomotive that we produce in the country or from outside the country, when you want to have tests for the locomotive, you have to pay the same amount of money for the testing of that locomotive. So there are only two centers in Europe, Germany or Czech Republic. And the second destination is India. So for example, just one uh, example, Anadolu University is trying to establish centers that would generate money from outside the country to inside the country and save the money from inside the country, not letting it go to the outside countries. So that's one particular example. And at, at the same time, it's switching into a fully uh, techno university, for example, Professors themselves, besides their research, they're becoming facilitators and moderators for their own. Thank you. So, so your, your detailed questions will be answered outside by our representatives from engineering departments. Thank you. Thank you.
Any other questions? Yes. Uh, my question yeah, what, let's just get this. Can you introduce yourself? Sure. Uh, my name is Barbaro Saslan. I'm a science and technology consultant in, uh, based out of New York. I have a PhD in electrical engineering from Cornell University. And my question is uh, uh, addressed to uh, Mr. President uh, uh, Abdullah Bey uh, of Bill Kent. So I'm, I'm curious about your um, nanotechnology centers. I know that you're heavily invested in nanotechnology. You have Nanotam as well as Unam, right? So, um, uh, do, do you have any uh, any news? What, what's the scientific output of those labs, and do you collaborate uh, with other universities in U.S. and Europe? And what's the funding situation? Uh, Nanotam is uh, more uh, on the engineering side, so it's more uh, towards engineering, and there we have actually great support from Turkish industry. So in nanotechnology, uh, nano uh, uh, size electronics, nano electronics, and nano photonics. In uh, UNAM, which is the uh, national uh, nanotechnology center, it's actually a center which is open to researchers of all Turkish uh, universities. And there we have interdisciplinary research so the biologists, chemists, or physicists from, uh, or even medicine, uh, re med medical researchers from different universities actually collaborate with our researchers in, in, in that institute. And uh, the research output of those institutes is uh, one of the highest, not only in the uh, university, also uh, in the country. Can't keep it. So, because we may have a question over there. Okay, a question here. Oh, I may need that mic. <laughs> you guys making me work very hard today. The uh, my name is Emra, and I'm from. Uh, I'm doing my PhD work at Harvard Medical School right now. I'm in my fifth year, and I'm a graduate of Bill Kent University. And uh, I know that Bill Kent University has done a really good job in terms of doing the video conferences. And I was asked. I wanted to ask the other universities if they had, if they were planning to do certain, these kind of video conferences, and whether they would be willing to share their video conference time with the um, young scientists like us or young faculty, or um, Turkish junior faculty, or postdocs. Thank you. Without hitting any bureaucratic red tapes. At Boston University, there would be no red tape, bureaucratic or otherwise. And it is a possibility. We do have the uh, facilities. We either do have them or rent them, I'm not so sure. But at Boston University, every decision is local. So if, if, let's say, the Department of Economics wants to do it, the scientists from abroad, like United States or whatever, then they'll do it. Or at least they'll ask for it and we'll have them and they're gonna do it. So it all depends on the departments or even in cases in particular scientists. But it, it certainly is a possibility, yeah, sure. I think let's, let's move to the second group of because we can talk so. Well, uh, hi again, everybody. Good afternoon. Thank you for the president and the TASA for this wonderful conference, and I'm very happy to be here. Well, uh, this is a new university. We want to found it as an accountable, democratic, and participatory uh, university with m a much uh, entrepreneurial spirit. It's very well and very disadvantageously located between the two metropoles, as I said before. Within three hours, you can reach 80% of the Turkish higher education system including the laboratories, including the techno, techno park or technology centers. Um, the, the history of the university dates back to 1970s and 1990s. So even though we are only six years old officially, it's more than that uh, in terms of experience uh, in education and research. This is how the uh, campus looked like when I was first appointed as the first founding rector of the university back in 2007. Now the university is something like this and developing very, very, very fast actually over the years. 
with uh, over $30 million of extra budget denoted, uh, devoted to our university from central government agencies. Uh, we started with three faculties five years ago. Now we have 10 faculties. Six of them have students and uh, you know, ongoing education and research. And um, we have other uh, vocational type of education in our university too. Um, we had 5,000 students five years ago. Now we have over 11,000 students. And we have almost 1,500 personnel. Well, but what makes us different from the other universities, and more or less, uh, is that we do scientific, uh, scientificize or scientificate, whatever you name it, uh, local problems and local resources, local strengths uh, into value generating agents. In by that I mean we use our scientific knowledge and academic experience to work on the resources of our region to, um, ge to generate value out of them. By that doing, we help the uh, development of our region, actually. Uh, this is a wonderful example uh, to exemplify what we do uh, by generating value for the region. This is a bee from one of our counties in Düzce, and this is a very poor county uh, with much of family violence stories, etc. And this bee type is um, being, um, on, on, under, being put under study by our biology department. And then they found that scientifically, they approved that the bee is an ecotype of Turkey. We had four ecotypes. Now this is the fifth one. And we, uh, we have worked with the central governance agencies, level, uh, local governors, NGOs, industry, et cetera, et cetera, to work on this bee type. Uh, we founded a bee center. Uh, we founded a, a forest for uh, honey making for these bee types. And then we, we gave education seminars uh, to women, to handicapped people, to young uh, people who, don't, who didn't have any job, etc. And with all these efforts, we could generate value for that very poor county of Düzce. And we also produced uh, publication out of this research project. And we won the European Entre Entrepreneurship uh, Award uh, from among uh, 400 projects from uh, 29 uh, countries. When we do such projects, we, we do also publish uh, scientific uh, publications in well-known journals. Uh, OTTU, METU, Middle East Technical University makes a ranking. I do not like rankings, actually. But for a young university, this, is, this gives us a good uh, motivation. We are among the 2,000 universities, and we have moved 130 places upward in one year only. Um, this is from Jumhuriyet Science and Technology, and they have found that we rank the seventh in the country in terms of scientific publication rates. Um, we are the third university in Turkey who applied for the National Quality Mo Movement in four years ago, and we uh, won this three-star excellence certificate last year, and we had 45-star certificate this year. Um, this is our Technopark building project. Uh, this, this architect is living in Austria, and he's, a Turkish, he's of Turkish origin. Um, the, the building is wonderful. Um, it's a, it's, it comes from the infinity sign, uh, denoting the uh, infinite possibilities in science and technology. And it will behave uh, just about to complete the project. It's a LEED certificate uh, project, with, uh, which has its own climate. It's, uh, water pools, etc., etc. So it's a highly technological and futuristic building. Um, in these five years, we have built education areas, we have built health areas, we have also built sports, cultural, and social areas. Because if you don't have this, you cannot attract good uh, quality teachers, good quality students. So it was very important for us as a young university to have such facilities. We have also um, conducted several projects which were first in the country. Um, just to name one, this accountability meetings is, the, uh, uh, is very unique to our university. Every six months, the president, myself, and all the um, deans and uh, directors and everybody, we uh, invite all the stakeholders, including students, teachers, NGOs, uh, press, you name it, all the stakeholders, and we answer all of the questions posed by them. Uh, in other words, uh, we, we give an account of how we use the resources of our uh, county and of our region and of our government in what we do uh, as a university. 
Um, internationalization is very important to us. That's why actually I'm here. We are member to a couple of uh, international associations. Quality is very unique for us, a very unique project for us. We teach uh, our uh, teachers. We train our teachers. This is very important. Entrepreneurship is very important. Uh, we, have, uh, we, are, we are providing entrepreneurship classes in all our units, including the medical school in our university. Uh, Jahi Tarfi, a very famous scientist, as you know, he said uh, once, you cannot found a university, you, it becomes a university. Uh, and Düzce University tries to become a participatory, democratic, entrepreneurial, and competitive university. I hope you will come back to Turkey for some time. Come and visit our university. And uh, when you come to our university, we will be very happy to welcome you and uh, show you all our facilities. Thank you. Welcome you all. Um, Istanbul University is the uh, first university of uh, our land and uh, it was founded right after Istanbul was conquered by Sultan Mehmet II. So its history goes back to uh, 1453. We now have uh, 90,000 students, 10,000 of which are distance education students and the others are on campuses. We have about uh, 3,600 international students and uh, 74,000 undergraduates and the rest graduates. We have 5,000 academic staff and uh, we're on four major and seven minor campuses or you may call locations actually. So as a, as a total we may say we're on 11 campuses but four campuses are the major ones. And uh, these are in Istanbul and outside Istanbul. We also have seven uh, research centers. Uh, we have 20 faculties and we give education in all disciplines except architecture and fine arts. And uh, the undergraduate uh, programs in uh, these uh, faculties are above 200. We also have uh, high schools and vocational schools. Uh, the vocational schools are two years. The other high schools are four years. And the vocational schools are seven in many disciplines. Uh, we also have 16 higher institutes in many, in many uh, fields uh, with more than 500 uh, graduate programs. We have about 60 research centers, some of which are outside Istanbul. And uh, within these research centers, some research is uh, propagated to help the, uh, the um, higher institute uh, studies. We are among the top 400 universities of the world. Uh, and we were in the, in the uh, top 500 since 2003. But uh, last year, uh, we uh, skipped into the one uh, uh, further area and we're in the top 400 now uh, according to the Shanghai index uh, within the world rankings and in the national uh, scale the uh, medical education is ranked as first uh, concerning research uh, our budget uh, is going up it's uh, in terms of million dollars here uh, it's going up during the uh, uh, most recent uh, three or four years. So as it goes up, the number of projects, of course, go up. And uh, for in terms of uh, service to the society, health service is uh, in the first place in our university because we have two medical faculties and uh, five hospitals two university hospitals, one cardiology hospital, one oncology hospital, and a small dentistry hospital. As a total of 3,500 beds with 2.5 million outpatients treated in the clinics and uh, 100,000 uh, inpatients hospitalized. Istanbul University is concerned with the uh, most recent uh, notions li like uh, lifelong learning. And uh, last year we founded a children's university. So uh, we believe in the uh, continuity of, uh, of a school and uh, its style. So uh, we uh, educate children uh, in our university starting with the age of 11. 
uh, in summer schools and in winter schools from many uh, uh, schools in Istanbul and outside. So they come for courses and they are in the university for uh, one and a half uh, month period. And uh, we also educate uh, through distance education uh, many people around Istanbul and also through continuous education, also in society through certification courses and uh, many uh, um, uh, free courses. Uh, we believe in internationalization and uh, our students and staff are quite mobile. I'll show you in a minute. We are developing now programs in English very recently. Uh, we are working on joint degree programs and projects. We have many Cotetel agreements with France mainly. Uh, bilateral agreements uh, are quite many. So we have 100% uh, English programs only in medicine, business administration, and economics. But all, we also have 30% or more in English, in engineering, political sciences, and in marine science. We have uh, many ongoing protocols uh, with many universities, but Istanbul University has been uh, focused uh, more on Europe. So also with the United States, we have, of course, bilateral agreements with some universities, but uh, European agreements are more in number. And also the Erasmus Mobility, uh, concerning the Erasmus Mobility, uh, I should show you that uh, the, incoming, uh, the number of incoming students are increasing, as well as the uh, outgoing. So uh, also for the staff, uh, the incoming and outgoing, you can see the mobility. But um, I think we should uh, go on with the uh, United States agreement. <laughs> and uh, we should turn our focus maybe more onto the United States. Uh, and uh, I hope TASA uh, can be a bridge and a uh, tool for uh, Istanbul University uh, for mobility and for joint projects. Thank you. Dear Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, first of all, I would like to thank to the organizing committee, especially Professor Halukunal, for inviting me and giving the opportunity to present a brief inform information about our university, Istanbul Medit University. As you know, Istanbul Medit University is a newly founded state university, and we are very sensitive about also uh, about the foundation process. We also strive for establishing a university on solid basis, and we give too much consideration to scientific quality. We also know that it is too difficult to correct the work when the damage is done. There is a broad consensus as to the nature of the pressures on higher education throughout the world to become more entrepreneurial. There are increasing demands made on the sector to contribute more substantially to local economic and social development. Universities are being urged to take center of stage in developing strategies in the world. So national innovation and transparency system is the new policy of the Turkish government, which was discussed in the 23rd meeting of the Supreme Council for Science and Technology. Also, steps to be taken to foster the system were one of the key priorities of the meeting. Taking innovation and entrepreneurship as the motto of the university, Istanbul Medinet University aims to serve this policy. So, Istanbul Medinet University is an innovative, entrepreneurial, and research university. The university will introduce a new concept, the essence of which is to support and promote scholarly research rather than only focusing on undergraduate studies as traditional universities. Istanbul Medinet University established as a big university, including 11 faculties, four graduate schools, and two colleges. In 2011, we organized a search conference to determine our mission, vision, and strategic plans. At the result of that Congress uh, conference, we determined our mission, 
Our mission is to be a civilization-focused university, ethnic university values to the science, technology, and art it produces. Our vision also to be a distinctive research university, bringing together global cultures through human and society, society-oriented studies, and performing an active role in forming the world of the future through the science and technology it generates. Also, our aim is to integrate into the society and present academic data to common knowledge, to be a scientific and social center, to make projects aiming to solve basic universal and national problems, and to be among the most, uh, most outstanding universities in the world. With its academic and management staff, students, campus, library, and research. Here you see our main campus. Our main campus is located in the Isküdar, Istanbul. In this slide, we see the some front lines of the architectural project. We give priority to historical architectural uh, patterns. We started research and training activities as well as health service in Göztepe Research and Training Hospital after agreement of the protocol with the Ministry of Health of Turkey. Here you see the, our new hospital project. I think in a few months uh, we we'll start to construct the new hospital. We'll carry out cooperations with society, industry, local administrative units, national and international institutions. As I mentioned before, we strive to focus on graduate programs to educate the most needed qualified research scientists. So graduate programs start in 2011 and 2012 spring semester. Istanbul Medinet University aims to be an international research university, to be a scientific and social attraction center, work with the most prolific academicians who excel in their fields, to develop partnerships with international institutions and universities, and to be one of the most significant knowledge production center in today's and future world where knowledge is the strongest source of power. So we would like to be honored to collaborate and work with the academicians who allow Turkey and willing to participate in supporting scientific development of their own country and to practice their own experience in Turkey under the roof of Istanbul Medin University as well as at the other Turkish universities. Thank you. Koç University is a, a second uh, foundation university in Turkey. Uh, it's uh, going to celebrate its 20th anniversary next year. And uh, it was uh, founded by the Koç Foundation, which is uh, the largest foundation in Turkey. And I think it is among the largest in Europe. And the foundation basically undertakes three activities, uh, health, education, and culture. And in the area of education, the university is one of the things it does. Uh, so uh, there's also a high school, for example. The university has about 4,200 students. It has about 200 professoriate and 100 instructors. And, and it's, it prides itself uh, basically with uh, the fact that it uh, is an outstanding liberal arts institution in terms of its educational philosophy, but at the same time a very outstanding research institution. Um, I uh, am a new president at the university. I came from Stanford University after three decades on the faculty of Stanford. I came there in 2009. And uh, immediately what we did was we, uh, the university had a lot of potential. One of the reasons I did come back was the fact that 90% uh, of the faculty of, at Koch University is PhDs from the United States. 95% is PhDs from abroad. Of the ones from the United States in the School of Engineering, for example, all of them are from the top 10 schools of the United States. Uh, so the faculty is outstanding. They, they are second to none uh, in terms of the number of awards that they have received, the number of publications per uh, uh, faculty, the number of citations that they receive per faculty, every other measure that you could think of in terms of scientific and scholarly production. 
Hutch University faculty does very well. Students, um, we are very proud that uh, uh, unlike any other university in Turkey, we provide scholarships for 40% of our students. So uh, four out of uh, 10 people coming on campus is fully paid for. Uh, and they can come from any village in Anatolia and completely uh, paid for study in the university. So we are very proud of this. And, and, uh, and the, the, the remaining 60% uh, are also very good students. So in Turkey, 1.8 million people take the university exam every year. So Koç University, half of the students in Koç University are in the top 1% bracket. So they come from 18,000 and above. 85% of the students at Koç University, 85% is from the top 5% bracket of that. So that, that kind of selection is outstanding. It's not. It's not paralleled anywhere in the world, in my opinion. Uh, R&D, uh, we have, for a small university like uh, Koch University, we do extremely well in R&D, especially in the last few years. We have 67 different projects, $20 million a year. Uh, for the last two years, we have done $20 million a year. And, and all of the graduate programs, and our, we have about 550 uh, master and PhD students all of them are funded uh, basically on projects or on TÜBİTAK awards, Turkish Scientific and National Research Council awards. And they are, the graduate program basically is carried by the projects. And, and that, of course, not only keeps the faculty current in what they want to do, but it also provides research opportunities for undergraduates. And we very much promote that. All undergraduates. Uh, try to do some research of one kind or other. We, have, um, we are very proud of the uh, distribution of our faculty. We, it's a full university rather than, for example, just a technical university or just a medical school. It has a, a, a law school, a school of engineering, school of sciences, school of administrative sciences and business school, school of humanities and social sciences, and a newly formed medical school. The medical school was formed in uh, basically, two years ago, we have the, our second group of students that we have taken, and, and, and uh, that completes the university. It is uh, essentially the only university in Turkey right now that has a medical school, and that has all the other uh, adjoining departments at a very substantial level of scholarly production in terms of publications. Because, uh, you know, the, without the medical school, it has come to that level, and now the medical school captures uh, all of the opportunities that we think will happen in the next 10 years in the areas of overlap of medicine and science and medicine and engineering and medicine and social sciences and, and, uh, and even law. Uh, as you know, in the United States even, uh, whether Obama wins or not will partly depend on the health sciences initiatives, that health, health initiatives, that uh, insurance initiatives that will work or not. Um, let me see if I missed anything. Um, yes, social sciences. I think we are very proud of social sciences at Koch University. We, have, we do projects, R&D, in social sciences. In the recent announcement of the Turkish Scientific and National Research Council awards, for example, we received nine projects in social sciences. So I think uh, in terms of uh, both administrative sciences, psychology, Archaeology and history of art, cultural heritage, uh, sociology. We have uh, uh, research projects uh, that uh, are like quantitative projects in engineering. So uh, internationalization is the last thing I will tell you. We have 400 students on exchange on our campus right now. We have agreements with 141 different universities. So almost 10% of the, of the students are, are uh, non-Turkish. Uh, actually, 10% of our faculty is non-Turkish. So it's very much an international environment. And I don't have a picture of it, but if you just go to Google and, and look at Google Earth and type Koch University, you'll see our beautiful campus. Thank you very much. So my name is Dilek, and I'm a PhD candidate here in the Operations Management Department in the Business School. So last week, I just joined Erzien University. 
So uh, since the director had to leave, he asked me to say only a few words about the university and why I joined it. So it's a, uh, Uzin is a young university which is highly uh, ambitious about producing high quality research and it focuses especially on entrepreneurship. And uh, I guess I can say we now, we are hiring 60 people this year. So uh, if you're interested, please do send us uh, your resumes and applications. Thank you. Uh, I'll make it as brief as possible. Uh, I think I deserve to introduce the university because that is the only university uh, that has not started yet, but uh, it will start next um, September. Here you see the website of the university, www.tedu.edu.tr. Uh, I invite you to look at the website. Um, we are proud that TED was established, and TED, by the way, stands for Turkish Education Association, in 1928 by Atatürk's team. It was established to maintain high standards in education, and uh, we follow the original design. We claim that we will have an excellent education. TED University admits its first students in September to faculties, not to programs. TED University offers liberal arts education with a common core content of one year, a major content of two years, and a minor content up to a year. Offers large selection of elective courses with balanced depth versus breadth emphasis and TED University is particularly proud of focusing on teaching and learning using innovative teaching pedagogies and employing a truly student-centered approach. TED University will have instruction in English, so we have the English prep school, the Faculty of Education, the Faculty of Economics and Administrative Sciences, the Faculty of Engineering and Architecture. Altogether, we will start with 10 programs in September. We truly care for quality assurance, accountability, transparency, and trust. I would like to emphasize trust because in Turkish higher education system, trust is not present between various actors. So I hope to develop really trust between the university and the public as well as between the administration, faculty, administrative staff, and students. We are proud with our information management system. It's a contemporary and integrated e-university model, which is the first and most developed of its kind. Costed a lot. The campus, for those who are from TED community, we will use the, the old buildings of the high school at Ankara College, and they are totally renovated, and buildings are equipped with advanced technology, and we will use the Inject Campus facilities as well. So we claim that we make a difference. We stand out in higher education as well for high quality. Thank you. All right. Uh, we are a university from the city of Izmir, the Pearl of Egypt Coast. And the other name we have for the city is the city of uh, smiling faces, just like the University of Yashar. Actually, uh, I'm just going to pop over uh, the, the already mentioned uh, kind of information, but I want to get into details uh, for, my, for more identical to my university. We are a university of 4,683 uh, 4, now. And that we're not, we're not going to grow bigger than 5,000 because of the quality uh, values. Uh, we are the one and only smoke-free, complete smoke-free uh, university in Turkey. And I just lost the very, very best place to the student union body in, you know, without, before shaking, shaking hands for this agreement. And that's how we, man how we, uh, that's how we managed it. We're, we're not uh, having smokes either uh, on, on the outskirts of the c uh, campus. Uh, 
nearly 64% of our university are women, and I am so called uh, the poor univers uh, the poor man uh, rector of the university, and I'm so happy to have that title with me. And now we're few uh, men people stepping around and, and on the campus are trying and uh, planning to cry for uh, positive discrimination for, for, for men. A, about Izmir, you all see on the picture, and now we're on the campus. These are all necessary information, so-called necessary information, and it's just a reputation of many of the other uh, universities. What we care is that we don't do anything the other university do. What makes a difference is any, anything we do, any department we open, uh, we, we, we have a say, we have a signature for Izmir speci especially. Uh, we're 10 years old, and we're, uh, we're the only CEA, uh, Commission of uh, English Accreditors, uh, we get for, for, uh, for our uh, foreign language teaching. Plus, from uh, the, the English environment, English spoken environment we have on the campus, but plus, we ask students to have one of, the, one of the, these following uh, second languages, just like Spanish, Portuguese. We cannot manage Chinese yet, but Japanese, Russian, Greek, and French, German, and Italian. They have English already at the, at the base, but they have to have something more depending on their departmental choices. These are all the faculties. Newly established faculty is the Faculty of Engin uh, Energy Systems. We are now, Izmir is, is a city located on the hot uh, rock, and we have all those uh, renewable energy resources, and we are generating a new uh, engineering department to bring out from, from, from, from the, those energy resources. Anything we do, we do it with Izmir. Yes, these are all we have. The Faculty uh, of Law is a, is a leading uh, faculty in our university. We're really good in that. And the Faculty of Communication Sciences is as well. Different from any other Turkish foundation universities, we have a department uniquely for Yasha, Department of uh, Science Culture. It has foundation courses, six foundation courses. Uh, it, it, they are design culture, project culture, research culture, human sciences, ethics culture, and aesthetics culture. These are called to any, any, any student, any graduates, and uh, graduate studies, uh, either, either from inside or outside. And we have one credit hour uh, social responsibility project course. Anybody who cannot succeed, it, this, this, this doesn't happen, it's just something symbolic, but uh, if anybody fails to get that, uh, that uh, one credit course, they cannot graduate. This is why we're, we're trying to be very sensitive about our real life outside the campus. These are all uh, the graduate studies. We have the lists are already on the, uh, on the, on the internet, if you just click on kindly. Uh, yes, I think We have, uh, we have, yes, uh, the American f uh, football uh, team uh, to injure their arms and uh, necks and everything. Uh, uh, because otherwise, they're, they're asking for kickboxing, and that was much better to have an uh, American football team instead. Of, instead. Multilingual. Uh, actually, we have students from, we have, the, the, the quantities are so, so small in our campus. We have four uh, uh, students from uh, South Korea, we have uh, two students from Chile, and it's over. 